Welcome to the Rayob Program's Configuration Options, Parcel Lifting, and Cape tab. Before beginning, note that all options on this panel are available to the Rayob Basic Program except one option. This option is the Multiple Prompt and Multiple Overlays feature, which requires the optional Hodograph and Interactive module. Because of its many unique features, it has its own video, which can be found under the Hodograph and Interactive Modules section. Therefore, it will not be demonstrated here, other than to say that it can lift any parcel on the sounding, or any layer within the sounding, or even the entire sounding up or down. So let's get started with the Lifted Parcel Level section. Here you can choose from three popular methods, where Rayab will simulate lifting of an air parcel, which is then used to measure the convective potential of the atmosphere. So let's review each method and then see example plots. First is the default or surface method, where the parcel is always selected from the surface level. The SB CAPE text means surface-based CAPE, which refers to how CAPE is eventually calculated, and which will be discussed a little later. The second option is the most unstable method, or the MU CAPE method. And as indicated in the description box below, this most unstable method is also referred to as the best level lifting parcel, since it is determined from the most unstable point on the sounding profile, where the most unstable point is defined as the level having the highest wet bulb potential temperature, but more on that later. What is also important now is that we also have a new options box which appears when this method is selected. This is the search layer which defines the lower layer of the sounding from which the most unstable parcel is selected. And for this demonstration, we have the lower 150 millibar layer identified. The third option is the mean layer method, or the ML CAPE option. This parcel is found by averaging the mean temperature and dew points of the specified layer. This layer is defined by the adjacent mean lower layer box, where 100 millibars has already been entered. Please note that this mean lower layer value has a dual purpose. It is also used to calculate the CCL, or convective condensation level, using the same 100 millibar lower layer. Okay, so let's see how this works. We'll first select the surface parcel option, and then close this options panel. Then we'll load a sounding, and display the analyze toolbar and then click on the Lift Parcel button. And let's also click on the Significant Levels button for more details. Here we see a blue-green line showing the simulated lift from the surface temperature and from the surface dew point to where they reach saturation at the LCL. Okay, now let's see the other two lifting methods. First, We'll right-click on the Lifting Parcel button for a quick return to the Options panel. Then, we'll select the Most Unstable option and apply it. And now we see the Lifted Parcel shift upward one data level. Remember that this method selects the parcel with the highest wet bulb potential temperature. We can plot this wet bulb profile by clicking on the Wet Bulb Profile button which is depicted by a green line. And just to show that Rayab just didn't pick the sounding level with the highest temperature, we'll adjust the 920 millibar dew point value until its wet bulb potential temperature is greater than the current lift level. And there, the lift level has jumped up to the 920 millibar level. So now, we'll hit the Restore menu then recall the toolbar so we can turn off the wet bulb profile. Now let's again right click the lift parcel button and return to the options panel. This time we'll select the mean layer option and then apply it. And now we see the lifted parcel has jumped up to about the 950 millibar level. And just to show that Rayab actually calculated the mean temperature and dew point values and just didn't pick the averaged millibar level, we'll increase one of the low level temperature points and watch that lifted parcel shift to the right. And we'll do the same for a dew point temperature and watch its parcel point shift. 
And there's our new artificially induced partial lift data. Okay, let's restore the sounding data and then refresh the screen and then get back to the options panel. Now we'll look at the CAPE section, where CAPE stands for Convective Available Potential Energy. First, we'll demonstrate the CAPE base level option. This determines the base of the positive CAPE calculations. The base can be either the LFC or the CCL levels, where the LFC is the default method. This can be shown graphically, so we'll close this options panel, where we now see a different sounding plotted, which is needed for this demonstration. Now let's display the toolbar and click the Significant Levels button to see the LFC and the CCL locations. Now we'll click the CAPE button and see where the positive CAPE region, which is shown in red, begins at the LFC level. Note also that the blue colored region is called the negative CAPE or the CIN region. Both the positive and negative CAPE values can be seen in the soundings data listing, including the CAPE total value. OK, now we'll right click the CAPE button to access the options panel, where we'll now select the CCL base level option and apply it. And now we see the positive CAPE region starting at the CCL level. And in the soundings data listing, you'll see the CAPE values have increased. So let's close the toolbar and refresh the screen and return back to the options panel by pressing the F9 key. Before moving on, notice the asterisk character right after the CCL option. There is a corresponding asterisk following the surface parcel lifting level option. This means that the CCL CAPE base level option can only be used with the surface lifted parcel option. And if you select any other lifted parcel option, like the mean layer mode, the CAPE base level selection will automatically switch back to the LFC mode like this. OK, now let's look at the temperature base section, where we have dry bulb and virtual temperature options. We've already seen what CAPE graphics look like with the LFC option, so now let's select the virtual temperature option and click OK. Now we'll first get the toolbar with a right click and then plot the virtual temperature profile, which is drawn in a purple color. And note that the lifted parcel is now elevated because we are using the mean layer lift method as annotated here. And now we'll click the lift parcel button to see the lifting trace line. And finally, we'll click the cape button for color graphics. Okay, we're back to the options panel. Well, we'll now look at the CAPE depth section. And before discussing these options, notice the double asterisk in the title, along with the above LFC option in the CAPE base level section. This is because the second and third CAPE depth options require use of the LFC base level method versus the CCL method. So let's move on and just plot CAPE with the default total depth option and close the options panel. We'll get the toolbar and then click the CAPE button where the total CAPE is colored in red. And we'll also click on the Significant Levels button because these features will be needed a little later. Now we'll right click the CAPE button to get back to the Options panel. And now select the LFC to 3 km AGL option. This option tells Rayab to not only calculate the total CAPE value, but also to calculate the CAPE section which lies between the LFC and the 3 km height AGL level. And even though Rayab will still calculate CAPE throughout the entire profile, this has the additional effect of only graphing the 3 km CAPE region. To see this, we'll apply this change. And now only the CAPE region between the LFC and the 3 km height AGL level is colored in red. And also notice we can see a CAPE value displayed in the above data listing for the 0 to 3 km item. And even though not colored in red, the total CAPE value was calculated and displayed also. And now let's again right click the CAPE button and return to the options panel. This time we'll click the both option and see what happens when we apply this change. The 0 to 3 km region is still colored in red 
but now the remaining positive cape region is shaded in a rose color for visual differentiation purposes. Once again, we'll right-click the Cape button for the Options panel. And now we'll look at the MPL, or Maximum Parcel Level option. By activating this option, Rayab will extend the parcel lift trace until the positive and negative Cape values cancel each other out. The top of this lift trace represents the maximum potential height of convective cloud tops. So now let's apply this option. And here we not only see the extended parcel trace line, but Rayab also has colored this negatively buoyant region in a light blue color. Since this sounding only reached the 100 millibar level, we don't know how high the MPL region would have actually reached. And now, we'll once again right click the Cape button. This time we'll activate the Hill region option. This region is bounded by the minus 10 and minus 30 degree temperatures and between the parcel trace and the sounding profile. Studies have shown that this region correlates to hail growth, where the larger the region, the greater the hail potential. So let's apply this option and see what it looks like. The Cape Hill region is colored in a light blue color, where we can see the minus 10 and minus 30 degree temperature boundaries. And notice that a Cape Hill value can be seen in the above data listing. And now we'll close the toolbar, refresh the screen, and call up the options panel for the last time. Now we'll look at the D-CAPE section. D-CAPE is neither positive nor negative CAPE. It is instead downdraft CAPE. The coldest wet bulb temperature option is the fastest method, but it tends to over forecast D-CAPE. The average wet bulb temperature method is the default option as it produces good results with very little impact processing time. The density weighted average option is the most accurate method, but it is very slow because of the thousands of extra calculations needed to produce this value. This option will definitely slow down Rayab processing during file looping and other multi-sounding functions. So if this value is not important to you, it's best to use the other two options. But for demonstration purposes, let's show an example. So we'll now select the density weighted option and then apply it. Notice that there was no noticeable delay in sounding processing. This is because this is a low density sounding. However, we'll now load a high density sounding and watch what happens. A blue progress bar shows the extra sounding time needed to calculate this decape value. This high density sounding contains 2,209 data levels. So let's reload this sounding one more time. That completes the Rayout Program's Configuration Options, Parcel Lifting, and Cape Tab video. Thank you for watching.